Hey everyone, so for this next haul, I'm probably going to have a few shops right now. I have just two, so we're starting off with a couple orders. One of them is from Sweet Avis Paper. That's the one I'm going to start with. I hope the lighting is okay. I'm doing it at kind of a weird time of day where it's not like super sunny, but I feel like it's enough light to see without turning on the light. So I hope it turns out okay. But um, this is my latest order from Sweet Avis Paper. So it's kind of a small one. I think a lot of this stuff was on clearance, um, because it's not on clearance, but it was it was going to be retiring. So I wanted to stock up before they officially left the shop. Um, so some of these are repeats from what I already have. I'm just going to go through them briefly anyway. So I'm going to start with the extras first. She did include um, a raffle ticket that is going to be part of a giveaway that she's going to be doing in the Facebook group um, from July 5th through the 8th, so it's kind of exciting to get one of those. I might win something. Um, and then her business card, as usual, it's her newer one. This really fun um, insert with all of her social media and stuff on it and all of her characters at the bottom. And then this journaling card with Dottie the sugar bug. Um, at a computer, which is really cute. And then the two freebies. So this one is the um, Sweet Avis Paper freebie. It's a June version 2 it looks like. I don't know what version 1 looks like, but um, this is a really cool sticker to mark when I order from her. Um, this is Monty the Bat. Okay, sorry if the video skipped a little bit. I had an incoming call that I had to take. So. Um, with this freebie, the first one is Monty the Bat with an envelope, and then there is um, one of the hamsters with boba. I still haven't tried boba. Uh, Dottie with chicken nuggets, and um, Snowball with pancakes, and I actually got the full sheet of this in this order. And then the second freebie is kind of a promotional freebie for Rainbow Shine Studio, which is Ava's um, shop. Ava is her daughter. And um, obviously the girl that the shop is named after, but um, she draws her own stickers now, which is so adorable and I so support that. And I love that her mom is selling them in her shop also. So Ava's shop is called Rainbow Shine Studio and these are like some of her hand-drawn images. So there's this little post-it with her unicorn in the bottom corner. These two um, checklists with bees at the top this nope crap, which I think everybody loves because it's so funny. Um, and then the unicorn with the donut, and I'm going to try to use all of these because I think they're really cute. Um, not necessarily things that I would normally put in my planner, but now that I have them, I'm definitely going to use them. So that is really awesome that she sent me those. Okay, so now for the actual sheets. I did pick up the bowling sheet because... Um, I have a friend group at work um, and they apparently sometimes go bowling. I may have mentioned this in a previous video, but um, they get together and go bowling on occasion and I'm going to try to join them one of these days. So I wanted to have this, you know, just in case that happens, I want to be able to mark it because um, I won't usually go out bowling on my own, but I met with friends or I might start thinking about doing it now that I actually have friends to do it with. I might like suggest it. Because I think it's kind of fun. It's, you know, more about the people you go with to me than the actual thing. Um, like, I would probably go to mini golf before I went to bowling because I enjoy it a lot more. But it really just boils down to who you go with. And then this one is for stomach cramps. But I'm also going to use it for just a stomach ache because I have been experimenting with coffee. And my stomach does not like that very much. So, unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to use these stickers a lot. Um, and then I picked out a bunch to hoard. I didn't even like sort these yet. Um, I'm just going to do that now. But there were a lot of sheets in the retiring section that I was thinking I'm not quite at the point where I need to buy those um, to use like on an everyday basis. But I may in the future. Um, and I want to have those, you know, just in case that happens just in case I come to the point where I need it, and if they're not in the shop anymore, I wanna have the opportunity. So I'm just really hardcore hoarding those sheets. So um, 
There's only a couple I think that I could see right off the bat, but these are like kind of like kids sheets, like one of them's play outside and then the other one is day at the park. So these are things you would do if you had kids. So, um, I mean, of course you could just do it on your own. Like I probably would go swinging or down a slide, like if I could fit, but, um, but definitely more things you would do with kids. And since both of my work friends right now have toddlers, you know, I might, I might try to hang out with them and we could, you know, go to a park anyway and that would be really cute. So, um, so I might hoard these, but I also might have a chance to use them. So we'll see. And then these sheets right here are just repeats of ones that I have. Um, I picked up the voiceovers because I think this is the only character sticker sheet I have that is just um, voiceovers and I really like them. So I already have one and I bought just one more. Um, so there's 18 on this sheet and then obviously 18 on the other sheet or maybe fewer if I use some. That should last quite some time but I'm really hoping that other shops are going to come out with voiceover stickers um, so that I can have those options because this is, you know, retiring. And then I picked up three of the um, video filming ones. I have quite a lot of these. Um, I have probably at least six by now. And these also have voiceover stickers in them, which is nice. So I have more of those. But um, I really like how they all kind of go together, film, edit, voiceover, upload, because that's like the classic four steps when you film a video. So it's kind of nice to be able to use all of these in one spread because it looks so cohesive. So that is that. And then I got two food sheets. I got another sheet of all chocolate bars because I can't see myself using this too often. So I feel like the two sheets that I have now should last me like pretty much for life, but we'll see. And then sushi because I really love these sushi stickers, but I also have like a million different sushi sheets from different shops. So it's like I couldn't really justify getting more than one extra sheet of these, but I could justify one because I really, I really think these are cute and they're so detailed and it's like a cat eating sushi and that's like how much more meat could you get? So I'm starting to think that I'm going to have to do a thing where if I ever get down to the last one of a sticker, I'm going to have to like save that and just like hoard it forever and like literally never use it. I don't know why though, because if I, you know, I can just look at my planner and look at where I've used all the other stickers if I want to look at the sticker again, but it's like, I don't know, I guess I'm just worried that I'm never going to see it and it's going to make me sad when I use up the sheet and I can't buy more, but I don't know, I'll probably get over it because I'm not going to do anything with my planners. I'm not going to throw them away. So everything will be there. And then these are the new sheets. I think all of these are new. I think there's a few I'm questioning about, but this first one is really cute. It's like, like getting prepared for an, a night out or a date night or some fancy event. It's like putting on makeup. This actually may be an old sheet. I don't know that I just didn't get until now, but, um, I thought it was really cute. She's like looking in the mirror at her vanity, putting on makeup. And I wouldn't typically mark this, but if it's like a big event that I'm spending a lot of time preparing for and it's taking up a significant chunk of my day, I do want to write that or mark that. And um, I do ha I did have an occasion um, before my date recently that I kind of spent a long time getting ready. So I can use that. Um, then this one is a sick in bed sheet. I really like the design on the blanket. It almost looks like a wood grain pattern. But um, it's a very pink sticker, but it's just, you know, your classic sick, sick day sticker. Uh, this is another one that I'm going to be hoarding. It's a parent-teacher conference. This is like pretty much something you would only need to use when you have kids. So I can't really use this at um, any point right now. But this is a serious hoarding sheet. Um, and this one is bingo. I got this for kind of the same reason that I got the bowling sheet because it's like not something that I really typically do right now, but, um, it's something that I think I might do in the future. And like, there have been occasions where I've done it in the past, um, like on cruise ships, we'll have like bingo night or whatever. Um, and I think it's it's really fun. I mean, I'm not going to turn down an opportunity to play if it's just a game that people are doing. So it's just kind of something to have on hand if the occasion arises. Um, and then there are a couple of flat lays in her new sheet format that she really likes. So, you know, I like all of it. I like this format and the old format. It's all fine. Uh, the biggest difference is probably the corners. They aren't rounded anymore. 
and of course the um, the top design is different and she has stopped labeling her sheets with names like here it's Snowball Goes to Bingo this one doesn't have a name it's just the number but I like how the number is really clear and easy to see so for inventory purposes that must be really useful um, so this fat lay is like kind of a sticker shop boss flat lay so it's like printing stickers cutting stickers and then the laptop which is designing so i really like that because most you know flat lays related to this don't have all three of those parts but those are the most important parts so i really appreciate that and then this other flat lay is sticker organizing which i really love also can't get enough of uh stickers for organizing stickers because i spend so much time on that so this is a really lovely detailed fat lay for that there's like washi tape and pens in there too which is fun um and then this is the fourth of july sheet it says independence deco but you know it's fourth of july um i don't really celebrate fourth of july very much right now at this point in my life i used to know as a kid i probably will when i have kids but right now i really don't but you know you never know when you're going to be invited to a party or something um and then just, you know, I want to have this on hand in case I do something. And then this sheet I really love. This is like the first sheet that inspired me to place an order and get all this other stuff. But this is the bakery sheet um, with these little, you know, it's like a bakery case with bread and cupcakes and donuts and cake and all the cactus on the top. It's so cute. Um, I don't really go to bakeries very much because of the whole gluten intolerance thing, but... I do like going in and looking at them and you know occasionally I'll just indulge anyway so you know I mostly just bought this sticker because it's really cute but I'm sure I'll find a use for it I'll make myself find a use for it um, and then she started doing a series of just like multicolor icons so this um, was the, really the only one that I bought right now because I do have a lot of other you know types of stickers um, but you know, I don't have ones that are like just plain stamps. So I thought these were really cute, especially with the bow. So I just picked these up for like mailing something, you know, happy mail, stuff like that. Um, and then speaking of happy mail, let's go into these two sheets. So this one is just the plain happy mail sheet. I think there was a sheet called like Snowball Gets Happy Mail that I already have. And I got that like confused with this one. They're two different sheets, but they're like almost the exact same like action that snowball is doing i think she's like like in this one she's like getting mail out of the mailbox and the other one she's like holding mail that she just got out of the mailbox something like that but i don't know i just had to pick up all of it because you know can't have enough and then this one is a waiting for mail sheet and i you all know that i love waiting for mail stickers i like try to collect those sheets whatever shops have them because i think it's just so funny because this is so me like if I could, if I'm waiting for something, I will. I would like sit in the mailbox and just wait for it to arrive. Um, especially in the days of Amazon Prime when you expect something right now, it's like waiting is hard. So those are really cute. Cat in the mailbox. I just love that. Um, and then the very last sheet I got was the pancakes sheet. I don't remember if I have this already. It's quite possible that I don't. And it's funny because like I'm not a super duper pancake person. Like it just. If I have, okay, so if I'm going out for breakfast or brunch, which I absolutely love more than like anything, um, and I am then I'm not in the mood for something healthy like oatmeal, because like that's what I have every day. If I'm going out for brunch, I'm going to have something decadent. So it usually boils down to three options for me, waffles, pancakes, or French toast. And here's the hierarchy for me. First and foremost, I'm going to look at their waffle options. I love waffles. I love the texture. I'm a texture eater, so like that, the waffle is it. And then secondly, it's pancakes because they're like, because they're not fun to eat, but they're also lighter and fluffier than say French toast, which is at the very bottom, which is too, it's either too crunchy or too soggy. And I don't, I don't like those things. Pancakes are light and fluffy, so they're a bit higher and then waffles are usually like the perfect dense, fluffy texture, but they have the divots that make it fun to eat. So. That's the hierarchy for me so pancakes are kind of second tier but if they have like really good toppings or if i'm in the mood for something light and fluffy then i will get them so just had to have that that may have been a sheet that's retiring or something and that's why i got it but i don't know can't help to, or can't hurt to have a 
pancake sheet on hand for those pancake occasions because they happen. So, um, so that is my Sweet Eva's paper order. Paper, paper, paper order. Um, so next we're going to go into Fox and Cactus. Now this was so funny because I totally forgot that I placed this order. Like I must have done this during the last buying spree, which was probably like a month ago because this is from Australia and it takes forever to get to me. So it just got to me right after I placed my most recent buying spree orders. So I was expecting something from something more recent to come, but I wasn't expecting this. So it was really, really funny and kind of a nice surprise because I was just looking at her shop and, and all the stuff and I was like, hmm. I should probably place an order because there's a few things that I want, but I didn't look at it because I didn't think there would be enough for me to want to place an order, but little did I know, I had already placed an order. So, um, it was, I, you know, I don't even remember what I got, so this is kind of like exciting for me because you're gonna, you're gonna see my initial reaction to everything that I wanted. Um, and also this random act of kindness, which I haven't even opened. I don't know what's in it, but I'm like really excited about it. I love when shops do this. I think Skull Prince Co. also does it, and it's always really exciting when I get those. All right, I'm just gonna move the mic a little bit. Just gotta pick up the washi that I had on my other table and I forgot to bring over here. So I'm gonna start with that. This is the reason I placed the order, which is for Animal Crossing purposes. So this is the Animal Crossing washi. And it is so pretty and I love how it like perfectly matches the Animal Crossing design style, which I love. I'm all about that. And the foil on it, oh, with the fruit, it's just perfect. So I would unroll this and swatch it, but um, actually, why would I not do that? I'm going to open it right after this video anyway. So let me just take that off. Flax and Cactus washi tape. Is it perforated? I don't think it is. Oh, wait. I'm just going to rip it. It's just being ripped. That is what is happening right now. All right. So here is the roll. And let's take some off the roll. I have the fun task of finding the edge. There we go. Wait, which way does it face? Oh, okay. Got it. Um, I know that she had designed the Animal Crossing stuff, I think primarily for her Hobo Weeks kit, but I don't have a Hobo Weeks and I don't want one, so I am going to be satisfied with the washi and I think the couple sticker sheets that I got, but like look at that. The colors are, let me zoom in, the colors are so much better when they are laid down than when they are on the roll or when you're looking at them with the light, but light filtering through them. That is just so perfect Animal Crossing. And I almost want an Animal Crossing kit just so I can use this with it. But since I don't have a Hobo Weeks, and I don't think she makes some, she makes kits for Erin Conjure, and I may just have to wait on that. Or use it with something else. But I love that washi. Okay. So let's go through the random act of kindness first, because I don't really know what else is going to be in here. Um. All right, so this first sheet, correct me if I'm wrong, but is that supposed to be like Wednesday Adams? I feel like it is, but I haven't watched Adams Family and I really want to, but I haven't done it yet, so I don't know. But she's saying meh, and I feel like that's a mood, that's a hashtag mood, so this will definitely be useful, and I like how she's like my skin color, so that was a real big coincidence. And then the second sheet, are these like perfect sheets though? Like why are they in here? Oh my God, they are perfect sheets, that is so nice. And then this one is um, a bat who is giving blood, and I will definitely say that I will not be using this sheet, so I'm probably going to gift it to somebody at some point. Uh, just let me know if you want it. I'll send it to you. I don't even care. Um, I am very skimish around blood. I can handle anything else, like guts, innards, anything else, but if there's a speck of blood, can't do it. If I know that I'm bleeding, I don't even have to look at the blood. I, if I just know in my head that I'm bleeding, I will get really dizzy. So it is a problem. So giving blood would be like the last thing I would ever do. i would probably donate any kidney before I gave blood. But um, yeah, so definitely we'll be keeping that sheet, but the first sheet I will. So that's really nice to get a free sheet out of the deal. And let's get into my actual order then. Again, I really don't remember what I ordered, except I think there were a couple Animal Crossing sheets that I got. So 
so it will be a surprise a nice surprise all right look at her sending it in cardboard so it doesn't get messed up that's good because then she doesn't really have to use a, a bridged mailer which is kind of a smart business plan if you don't want to spend the money on those um and this is just the thank you page as usual with this oh my god i haven't seen this before it is a obviously a crookshanks cat in gryffindor robes riding a broom oh my god that's so harry potter with harry potter glasses that's like everything i want i love i want that <laughs> i love that um i love the sterling cards so i'm gonna add that to my collection i really need to like start displaying them the only one i actually have displayed like on my desk is uh simply a mess avengers endgame journaling card but obviously that's like months ago so i need to start switching that out with like other ones so i can get use out of them um okay so then the freebie this is the june freebie because i guess i placed the order in early june did i probably um so then there's mo the dog which is emma and tom's dog um in the bath which is really adorable it's so cute i probably won't use it um well, i was thinking it would be used for like giving a dog a bath but i mean i could use it if i took a bath i don't take baths but i don't know I'll find some use for it because it's too cute not to use. Um, and then there's this boba, which is T-Rex, but it's like a pun because it's like tea, like the drink, and then Rex. I don't know if you can see that in the light. Yeah, you kind of can. But that is adorable also. Again, I haven't had boba. I need to have boba. I need to do it. And then this, <laughs> I love her cat character and the cat looking at the wallet, which has like a moth flying out because it's like so empty. <laughs> That's me after the latest sticker bench. <laughs> And then this is the girl who's like got her little dinosaur shirt on and she's like watching a show so tbh i'm probably gonna use this when i watch the original jurassic park movies because i have not seen them i've only seen jurassic world and jurassic world 2 and i do love those movies a lot but everyone's saying that the originals are better and i haven't seen them so i gotta see them i keep doing that um, I did kind of something similar with Lord of the Rings where I love the Hobbit movies and I'm obsessed with those, but I barely remember the originals and everyone loves the originals more. So it's just one of those things. I'm going to watch them. I swear I will. Um, okay. So let's see what we got. Okay. So this is like a phone sheet. She's just talking on the phone. Oh, yeah. I don't have a ton of just talking on the phone sheets. I have like maybe three, which is not a lot considering I have about at least 12 different sushi sheets but like I need more because I talk on the phone like several times a week with various people and I wish I had a full sheet of just those who knows there might be one later in the order and I just don't remember but that would be really useful because that could be like texting um, and this is just like talking and I love how they face both ways I think some other shops do that I know Scribble Prince Co does that so I think that's really great because you never know which side of the day you're gonna be putting the sticker on so that's good. Then this one is for biking, and I do need to get more bike stickers now that I bike sometimes to work, or like halfway to work. I can't bike down the hill because it's too steep and that will kill me. But I bike halfway to work, so I need more <laughs> variation in the bike stickers I use. I can't keep using the Coffee Monsters Co. So I think I used them all up already, actually. So, um, so this will be for that. She's better than me, though. She wears a helmet. I don't wear a helmet. I barely see people wearing helmets if they're just like biking on the side of the road or not even in the road like me i know it's bad i know don't have to tell me all right i'm looking for the other phone sheets this is like such a surprise what i bought okay so this is the only other phone sheet i think but, so this is kind of similar to the first one but instead of just like happy talking on the phone she's like angry talking on the phone <laughs> It's just so funny because, I don't know, I've only ever marked once in my planner where I had an argument with my parents on the phone. And that was, I think, using a Happy Dea sticker. Um, and I hope it doesn't happen too much, but just in case, I have these to mark that. And, I you know, I'm not like my dad. I am not spending every other day chewing out people in customer service for something that went wrong with some electronic that I'm using or some subscription. So he would get probably a lot more use out of that sheet than I do. I'm like way too polite because I am customer service at my job. So, but I'm sure I'll find something. All right. So let's kind of just go through this randomly. So this is the birthday deco sheet and this is so cute. I love the rainbow. Oh my God. 
I love those. I don't even like mark birthdays in my planner. I'm so bad. Like, I have them in my calendar. And if there's somebody I know, like one of my friends, I'll like wish them a happy birthday. If Facebook reminds me to. But, um, but I won't really mark them in my planner. So hopefully this will be a good opportunity to do that. And maybe some of my work friends will have birthday parties. And we'll get to, you know, I'll get to use this to mark that or something. Probably for my own birthday too. Yeah, that would be that would be good to use those because those are too cute to not use. All right, this one is I think it's like a what is this? Is this like an organizing sheet or like a moving date sheet? Tell me what you think this is because I don't even remember. There's no like sheet title on here, so I don't know. But um, I'm probably gonna use it for like organizing something. That, that makes sense to me because I don't have a just generic organizing sticker sheet and I could use one because I do a lot of random organizing um, and this one is <clears throat> sorry got another frog in my throat not drinking enough water so this one is an emotions sheet but this is really cool because it's not just your typical emoji sheet where it's just like just one plain face with all the emotions. This girl is wearing a chef's hat. So this is like all the emotions you experience while you're cooking and heck yes, I need this. Cause I've like gotten into cooking again and yeah, all of these things happen when you're trying a new recipe. So this is like when it goes well and you're all happy. This is like, oh my God, it's not going well. What do I do? Or like it tastes like crap and how am I gonna serve this to other people? That's that emotion. This is like, oh God, it, it tastes horrible and I'm a failure and this is awful and I don't wanna eat it. So that's that emotion. This is like, oh, I'm in love. This is the best dish ever. So that's what you want and then this is like really happy like oh it's a it's a great success i'll make this recipe again and this is like oh no i'm angry this did not go well at all <laughs> what a bad recipe or how bad am i for failing at this so that is the super useful sheet for that and then this one right here is kind of like an anxiety sheet. I think it actually is labeled as like an anxiety sheet. Um, Cause like it's just the girl, but she's like there, she's like nervous. She's like really sad lying down on her pillow. And then this one, she's just kind of got her knees against her face. She's like hiding. And this one she's hiding in her pillow fort. Um, I don't often have moments like this because um, my anxiety's gotten a lot better, but you know, you never know. Sometimes this happens, like everybody feels these emotions, so you got to be able to mark it. Um, similarly, I love this cat. This was like on a freebie a while back, I think, but everybody loved it. So this is the if this I'm out cat on a rocket which is so funny it's just like when you're when you're hashtag so done with something or a situation um and you just want to deal with it if this i'm out yep i have those feelings especially at work so i'm probably gonna use that a lot and then this is the board game cat i love board games i don't actually own any i don't think and i really only play now um, if I'm going to a friend's house and they have one, but you know, it was more in high school when I lived near my friends, um, who played board games or when I go to see my parents, at my parents' house, uh, sometimes my grandma too. So I'll play board games then. So it's really good to have this as an option for that. And I want to be like, when I have a family, I want us to be a board game playing family. So I really love this sheet for that. And then here are the, I say are the, here is the. Animal Crossing sheet that I got. This is just Animal Crossing Deco. So it's like the coin, which is the currency, pairs, the back of bells. Um, bells are the currency, I think. So that would be one bell. That's weird to me. It's like, it's not a bell. I've only just thought of that. <laughs> it's a coin, not a bell, but that's what they're called. They're bells. Um, then this is the oranges. This is the leaf, which is to mark furniture when it is on the ground and not well, when it's on the ground outside or like in a tree or on a shelf. If, if a piece of furniture is anywhere but 
out on display in your house, it will appear as the leaf. For those of you uninitiated in Animal Crossing, that's what that is. That's furniture. Um, this is the peach, which looks an awful lot like the peach emoji, which reminds me of a butt. But yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. And then these, which you would definitely have no idea of if you weren't familiar with Animal Crossing. What do these look like? They don't really look like anything, do they? Well, they look kind of like what they are, but they, these are fossils. So if you dig up a fossil, again, if a fossil is pretty much anywhere but on display in your house or the museum, uh, it will appear as this. So if you like dig up a fossil out of the ground, then it will appear as this, and you can only see what it looks like if you display it somewhere. So that is the Animal Crossing deco. I don't even know what I would use that for, other than, I guess, when I play Animal Crossing. But, um... But yeah, because Animal Crossing for the Switch is coming out next year. Hopefully, they don't delay it anymore. But um, yeah, I'm probably going to get a Switch and I'm probably going to play it. So that's what that's going to be used for. So this has been a super long beginning to the haul. I don't even know how many other shops I'm going to be able to fit in here. Whatever I can fit in a half hour, I guess, because I don't want it to be longer than an hour. But, um, but yeah, that is my fox and cactus order and i'm really happy with it i really love their shop and i'll be definitely keeping an eye on what else they might uh, release so that is it for this part of the haul let's go on to the next one okay so for this next part of the haul i have an order from simply gilded this is um part of the fourth of july um kind of new releases although they came out before the 4th of July obviously and um I think some may have been from a previous release but I'll kind of show you so first of all um I got this beautiful journaling card which is a nice I think that's a damask pattern I don't know how you say that but that's kind of the pattern that I think it is anyway it's really pretty and foiled with rose gold foil and then of course the seal i have quite a collection of these i love using them on envelopes they make them look so pretty so let's get into the washi first of all i have the three ginghams that were released i think this is all of them so there is a blue gingham right here in both the 10 and 15 millimeter i bet if you rolled it out it would show it a lot better but i mean you can kind of tell that it's supposed to be gingham and that's like a solid blue and then this is well actually it's kind of a little bit more of a navy it's like it's still blue but more navy blue than like these um and then this one is red again it's more of a faded red but it's red gingham like you know picnic blankets and i really like that idea like i would use that for a picnic sort of kit and then this is pink and i just i just love pink and white things like really light pink and white um so i'm sure i'll find uses for that i didn't used to be so into pink and white until i started planning but now i am so those are all the ginghams and they're really pretty um she's coming out with a lot of new patterns for kind of basic colors so she was doing like horizontal stripes for a while and now she's doing gingham and now she's actually doing vertical stripes and i'm not too into that i don't know i feel like i can probably resist that um, I prefer the horizontal ones, so probably keep getting those. And speaking of that, I did get the red and white horizontal. So now I have the black and white horizontal, the pink and white, and now I have the red and white. I did not get the green and white because, I don't know, it just wasn't really my shade of green. It was like more of a minty green. Um, I'm trying to think of what color that is, like chartreuse? I don't even know what chartreuse is, but seemed familiar to me so um i did get the red and white ones and i really love this there isn't a ton of red and white stuff but when there is you you really want this um so i got this as part of the fourth of july collection and also the blue like solid blue with um with stars star polka dots in the background and actually if you put these together it would, this would be a great washi to make an American flag with. And I think people have actually done that. If you look on the Facebook groups, it's really cool. But um, yeah, I just, these would go great together for a 4th of July spread. 
So those are those two. And then I did just get this solid blue and solid red because I did not have these colors yet. I kind of came into the Simply Gilded game pretty late, so I don't know what her like older releases were for the most part because it's kind of hard to find them because uh, you know she doesn't sell them in the shop anymore obviously so I don't know if she's released these exact shades before but um, maybe just in a different foil but I had to pick these up because I didn't have anything just you know solid colors in my collection so I have these and now I'm just waiting on a solid green so we will see about that you know maybe Christmas time so there's those these are in silver foil in case that wasn't obvious and then these are the five millimeters that i got so this is obviously the red white and blue five millimeter from the fourth of july collection and these are in silver foil obviously i do have the white one already but the red and blue is really what i got it for and then this one is not from the fourth of july but from th her new collection with colored foils and i just had to get this because i thought it was such a fun idea um, so this is like a hot pink foil, this is hot gold, this is like solid green, which is my favorite, well my favorite color green is like emerald green, but that's actually kind of emerald, so I'm loving that. And then the blue of course is like a, a solid blue too. So these are really fun and I like that this would be good for um, a spread that is kind of more, like it has bright colors but it's also not super busy. like just the white background of these like I mean using this as like headers would be a really cool idea because if you have a kit that's like mostly white with some splashes of bright color in it these would go with those really well as opposed to using just a solid color you know green or hot pink which would just kind of ruin the the mostly white effect so I like having that as an option because I do love to use the five millimeter washi as headers so it's my goal to collect all of the 5mm washi and um, I'm still waiting to buy the fruit bowl set because it has this really nice green that I like, like really light grass green, but it's been sold out so I'm hoping she's going to restock that and then I'll jump on it. And then there's a couple others that I want to get at the same time because she's really putting out a lot of 5 millimeters, and I love that. So that is Simply Gilded. Um, she did release a bunch of new things, but like I said, I'm going to wait on those until I can pick up a fruit bowl with it or until there's something else that I want even more because I like to wait until there's a lot that I want to get before I buy. All right, so let's move into kits. So this is my first order from, um, from Mac and Gray Designs. And this is the shop that I bought my Toy Story kit from because I needed one um, for when I saw Toy Story 4, which I did see recently. So I needed a kit to mark that. I was strongly considering getting the, I think it's Friend in Me or something like that, that kit from Scribble Prints Co. You probably know which one I'm talking about. Um, that's like kind of vaguely Toy Story themed, but like, I don't know, it kind of bugged me that there weren't any actual toys in it. And that was pretty much the reason I didn't get it, because I was like, it's Toy Story, it's got to have toys in it. So um, so I searched around, and like a lot of it was using actual art from Pixar, which is like super illegal for copyright reasons, so I didn't want to get that. I wanted to get a hand-drawn kit. Um, so this was the one that I chose, and I'm super obsessed with it. Let me just show you the full boxes. Look at these gorgeous full boxes. Like, this is something that people actually drew, or I guess somebody actually drew. And it, like, it perfectly encapsulates the original Toy Story feel, the art style, but it still looks hand-drawn. And this is like exactly what I want from art made from an animated movie, or are based on an animated movie, especially with CGI animation, because that's really hard to translate into, um, 2d form but like stuff like this is what i really like so these are the full boxes here are the full box checklists and habit trackers there's some little deco right there um headers and some i think these are 
glitter headers down here. It's hard to see the cut lines on those, but I think that's what they are. This is the weekend banner icons and deco up here. I love all that deco, especially because there's some that wasn't present in the full boxes, like Mrs. Potato Head and um, Lotso. Trying to see if everybody else was. I think everybody else was. Um, here's the bottom washi. And the um, sidebar daily trackers and full or half boxes. So there's pretty much everything you would need here. I did get the extra glitter headers because um, I figured that this might not be enough. And I also wanted the two additional colors. So I wanted to have all those options there. The paper is matte. I don't think it's premium matte. It doesn't feel like premium matte, but it still looks very nice. I also bought the date covers. I almost never do this, but I was just feeling it with this kit. And I love the, the cloud theme. It's so nice. This is actually called uh, Andy's Room. That's the name of the kit, in case you're curious. Um, all right. So it also the order also came with this adorable little um, sticker freebie of an open planner. And then this little note that she like hand wrote my name on, which is so sweet, and I love that personal touch. I guess that's kind of, this note is kind of in lieu of a business card. And then this freebie right here, which has um, a little laptop with work on it, a donut, a little Starbucks drink, and then baseball right there. And has a freebie code at the bottom that I've been trying really hard to block out this whole video because I'm terrible at that. I will often forget and just show them. But um, that is my first order for Mac and Gray. I'll definitely be paying attention to her shop in case she has more things like this with this kind of art that I can't really get anywhere else. So finally in this section, I'm going to go over my latest order from School of Prints Co. Um, I actually only got one kit with this order and a few extras. So first I'm going to show you this that I got from the Buy Sell Trade. I kind of slept on this kit for like a very long time, like, I don't know, over a year maybe. Because um, I was aware of it when it came out, but I was like, eh. And I don't really like Wicked that much. Like, I saw the play and I liked it. And I was just like, eh, it's okay, it's not really worth getting a kit over. But then I remembered the existence of the books, and I went to my grandma's house um, for my cousin's wedding. I stayed at my grandma's house um, while I was in town, and I noticed that she had the first Wicked book, and I asked if I could borrow it, and she just said I could have it. So um, it was the first book in the series by, I think, Gregory McGuire is his name. But yeah, so he wrote a whole series on Wicked, and I think that's what the play was based on. And it's like a really hefty series, so I'm thinking it's going to be really good and probably better than the play, in my opinion, because I'm usually a, a books first kind of person. But um, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to like it. So um, on the off chance that this kit would get older and would not be up for grabs in the buy sell trade, I just had to snap it up when I saw it. You know, it's funny though because the thing about the buy sell trade is the older a kit is, the more likely it's going to be in the buy sell trade. Cause it's been so many years and people are like, oh, well, if I didn't use it when I first bought it, I'm not going to use it now, so we'll put it up. So I guess I didn't really have much to worry about, but I wanted to get it. So this is the For Good kit. It's with exclusive art from Kittenish Girl Jess. And um, I really like the color scheme, and obviously I love the art. And this is the ultimate kit. I'm not going to go through it because, you know, you probably know by now the format of the kits. But, um... It's really gorgeous, and I would love to use this to mark when I read the books. Because I've already seen the play, so it's kind of too late to mark that, but I will use this for that. Okay, so now for my actual order from SchoolerPrintsCo.com. The only kit I got is this Herbology kit, and it's called Herbology 101. Um, and I'm not even a plants person, but like... I'm a Harry Potter person through and through, and I love this aesthetic and the pink and green colors, pink, green, and brown. Like, I don't know, this like really screamed to me that this is a kit I want in my planner. Um, and I am collecting kits to use for another Harry Potter month. I probably have more than enough already, but you can never have too many. So, um, 
definitely going to add this to that collection. And yeah, I just super love it. This is actually a mini kit because I got it during its um, release weekend. I'm kind of not going to get Ultimate kits anymore unless it's for like a really big event or occasion. And this, you know, doesn't really fit the bill. So I wanted to get it right when it came out. But it's really pretty. And I did get the extras as I will tend to do with actually most kits that I buy. If there's like extra full boxes or glitter headers or something, I'm usually going to add those on. So let's see what we got here. So this is the extra page of full boxes, but it's like a double box vertical instead of horizontal. Like this would be a horizontal double box and then this is vertical. So this is probably going to be a sidebar thing, I'm thinking, because I don't tend to use the sidebar a ton. Um, or maybe bottom washi or something like that. But yeah, I'm really loving that. And then I did get the glitter headers, of course. Loving that color scheme. So the freebies that came with this kit are this um, journaling card that says girl just want to have fun in, I think that's rose gold foil. So that's kind of fun. And then this um, kind of divider freebie right here. I think I've gotten this before in hollow foil. I think that's hollow. Is that hollow? Tell me if that's hollow. Maybe it's just, it's like silver, but it's also bluish. So I don't even know. Tell me what foil that is, because I don't know. But um, that's really fun. And then I also got this random act of kindness, which is a little notepad and this is so cute and I don't use a ton of notepads but sometimes I do and I really want to have like a really pretty pad of post-it notes so I definitely like the design of this one so it'll be great to have this on hand for when I need a really pretty post-it so that's my super tiny order from School Prints Co I'm trying to like I don't know with some shot some shops I want to do like big orders um, and only order when I have a ton I want to get for um, various reasons like shipping costs if it's out of country or I don't know or, or it just seems like too extravagant to make little orders all the time like Simply Gilded um, like to spend, I don't know, 350 on shipping for like just one or two rolls or something like that would just seem like too much. So I kind of put the pause on that and like from Fox and Cactus, I'll usually wait till there's a lot that I want. Same with, you know, Happy Day and Obstacle Cat Studio because they're um, out of country. But um, some shops that are a little closer, like School Prints Co., I'm trying not to, this is what I, why I hate putting stickers back, because I always do that um, without taking all of them out. So I'm just gonna, just gonna do this. So I'm trying not to just place massive orders because I have spent probably way over $500 at School Orphans Co. And I don't wanna like get in the habit of doing that all the time of placing orders like $70 or more because like that's probably my average order size is $70 so I, I don't want to have that too much so I'm going to do you know if there's a new release week where there's one kit I want I'm just going to buy that one kit and then I'm just going to leave it at that I'm not going to like go hog wild and buy like 10 kits because then it's you know shipping is still comparatively pretty low and it's not no, a ridiculous number of kits. So I'm going to try to do that from now on. Just to not overwhelm myself with spending. So that is it for this part of the haul. I think we have enough time left to do another part. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so for this very last part of the haul, I have a teensy order from Some Little Things. I love her shop so much. And it's funny because I noticed that um, her shop and new releases are probably the ones that I am following most closely because like I love so many of the you know the big character shops and some smaller ones too and I follow them but like her shop I feel like 
so she has a lot of stickers already but like not you know not a huge catalog like happy day but like a decent she has like probably the basics but i feel like there's so much potential with her shop and her stickers like there's just so many other places she could go and i'm gonna kind of discuss that a little bit here um, when I go through the sheet, so I'm going to hold off on that for a moment, but let me just go through the extras that came with my order first. So, this journaling card, which is obviously Godzilla themed. I haven't seen any Godzilla movies. Should I or should I not? Because there's like a lot now, including like the latest one, but I don't know. I just, you know, big monster movies are not necessarily my thing, but I did see like one King Kong movie and I liked it. And I like Jurassic World and the this, this sequel. I haven't seen the original Jurassic Parks. I know. I will. But like, I don't know. I, I like those, but I'm not sure if I should really, you know, take the plunge and do Godzilla. So let me know. But anyway, this is a really cute journaling card, and it says there's a little monster in everyone. So it's obviously Lil dressed as Godzilla, which is so cute. Um, so there's that. And then here is the uh, exclusive sampler for June 2019. I love this. Um, full box because it is Lil holding a net superimposed over like a real photograph and she's catching fireflies and that is so fun and cute and it looks like she's on the beach and I think that's just a cool idea of mixing clip art with photo photos and it's not like it hasn't been done before but it's always really fun to see. Um, and then we have the Some Little Things Order Arrived sticker that of course I'm going to try to remember to use um, and then I love how she does little what's happening this month, and some other shops are now getting into it too. I think Once More With Love and The Coffee Monsters Co. kind of do the same thing sometimes, where they put, you know, relevant stickers on their samplers per month. So Secret Life of Pets 2 is coming out, well it came out June 7th, I haven't seen it yet, but I'll be sure to use the sticker to mark that when that happens. And then Pride Day was June 30th, so I will obviously use that sticker for that day as well. Um, and then these two little shaped sticker samplers, which I love. I guess they're freebies, freebie samplers. I love the shaped ones because they're so fun and I just want to leave them like this. Like, I don't want to take them out, but I know I'm going to have to if I want to use them. <laughs> but I don't know what I would use these for, but they are really cute. So this one is like, oh, they're both under the sea themed, but this one is like um, one of the little, I think they're hamsters. Are they mice or ham I think they're hamsters. Let's see, they're oatmeal or cinnamon. I still haven't gotten them straight. I think oatmeal's the guy. So I think that's oatmeal dressed as a pirate, which is so cute. A little stingray. I think that's coral, but it looks like a brain to me. <laughs> I mean, obviously it is. It's probably brain coral, but <laughs> I, I, would, I would love to just find an instance where I could use that as a brain. Um, and then there's a little, I don't know. Is that a worm or just like another type of coral? I don't know. I'm so confused. And then there's obviously a starfish. So that's very adorable. And then this one over here, which is more land than sea necessarily. So there is no, no fishing, except he's using a carrot and he's eating the carrot. There is, I think, cinnamon drinking lemonade, I believe. There is a little roasting a marshmallow over a campfire. There's a message in a bottle. There's oatmeal, question mark, with um, a jellyfish on his head, which is so fun. Look at his expression. He's like, oh my god, <laughs> how did this happen? What am I going to do? And then um, fish bones right there. So, very adorable samplers. So, here's my actual order. It is kind of small, but um, like I said, I've already placed my base orders with most of these shops. So, all of my orders from now on are probably going to be pretty small, but I have no issue with that because it means spending less money and still getting everything I want. So, um, so this is the online shopping sheet. I like it because it has a lot of aspects of online shopping other than just, you know, clicking order and buying something. So this says take my money. This says refresh because y'all know when, when somebody's about to drop something that's like limited time or like limited release. You, you're going to be refreshing constantly to make sure that you get there first. I've been through that battle. It's it's terrifying and hard. Um, and then there's got it when you do get the thing before it was sold out, which happens almost immediately when there's a big release. There's sold out. 
which I think I have experienced once, but it was for like something I didn't super care about, so I was all right. And there's sale and then more refresh. So again, all these sort of emotions that online shopping encompasses, and that's one of the things I think that her shop has a lot of potential for, not just, you know, everyday situations like this, but like taking the emotional aspects of them and putting them into stickers, which I've talked about before. I love that she does that. And I think that there's, you know, really a limitless number of activities that she could um, kind of emotionalize in that way in sticker form. So I like having options with stickers that I put down. I want them to represent what happened the most accurately. So not just the action, but how I felt while doing it too. So that is something that I eagerly will look forward to seeing more of in her shop. So that's that. This one is kind of a hoarding sheet. This is car maintenance. Um, I don't have a car right now. Obviously, you probably know that if you've watched any of my videos recently, but um, occasionally I will rent a car or I will be driving with somebody who, you know, may have to do these things like fill up gas or get a car wash. So I guess since I'll be along for the ride, I can use these for that or just save this until I get a car. Um, this one is baking. I mostly got this sheet for the cookies because there are so few sheets that have like actual cookie stickers of just plain cookies. Um, so a few shops actually. So this one is just like icing a cake. This one is a little mixing bowl. These are the two types of cookies. This is a tray of cookies and then a little flour and egg sticker right there. I like these because these are oatmeal and cinnamon, but without their like mouths, which is so funny, like the whole rest of their face, but no mouth. That's how you know it's a cookie. <laughs> it's really funny to me. So this is headache and I don't get as much as I used to, but I do get some. So got to mark them. Some of the ones are really bad where it does feel like you have hammers and axes pounding on your head. Yeah, pretty good representation of the really bad ones. So this is needlework. Um, I don't have any sewing stickers, but and really the only sewing I do nowadays is like either, well, it's either cross stitching, which I'm assuming that's going to kind of represent that or embroidery, but to me it would be cross stitching, um, which I need to get back into because I haven't done it in like a year, but I was really into it when I was finishing up school um, or just like mending my clothing when it needs it. So I needed something to mark that. So here it is. And then this is cooking, which kind of goes along with baking. Um, I know that she has other cooking and baking sheets and I've probably got them and hauled them before, but these are new, so I must get them. So this is another one of those emotion stickers, like you're cooking, but you're doing a bad job and it catches on fire. That has almost happened to me like all the time. So pretty good uh, to have that on hand and hopefully nothing ever does catch fire, but just in case I got that. And then there's flipping an egg. So this is kind of like breakfast themed for a lot of it. These are just regular mixing spoons and that's chopping veggies. But then these on here are like breakfast themed. So pancakes, egg, milk, bacon, toast, and then little co cooking time stickers at the bottom. I love the v variety of these sheets. And all shops do that. So this is game night. Had to have it. Um, you got your cards. You got your regular board game. Like I'll probably use that for Barcheesy more cards, a uh, card game night, and then these are definitely part cheesy right there, or just, you know, game pieces in general, but what I really like is that I think that's Mahjong right there, like that looks like Mahjong to me. Doesn't it look like Mahjong? I think, I think that's kind of what it is, so I hope so. I'm going to use it as Mahjong, and I really appreciate that that's there, because it's a very underrepresented game in the sticker world, and my mom and grandma love to play it, and they kind of wrote me into it whenever I'm with them, so... I mean, I like it, but not that much. I'm a very selective board game person. Like, Parcheesi is my top favorite, but I'm also really into Moncala now, so that's kind of it for me. But I need to have something to represent when I play what other people want to play. And here are the princess sheets. So there's two sheets here, and it's not all of the princesses, but it's a lot of them. So I'm going to try to remember which ones are not represented, but we have Belle, Pocahontas, Snow White, Rapunzel, Moana, Elsa, Mulan, Princess Penelope, which I think is hilarious that she's on there because she's not even an official Disney princess. I think there's still like a question about that. She's not part of the lineup, but she is technically a Disney princess, but so are 
you know, others. Anyway, and then there's Ariel and then Jasmine. So I'm not seeing Anna, who should go with Elsa in any sheet, I, in my opinion. Um, I'm not seeing Cinderella or Sleeping Beauty, which are kind of the originals. I'm not seeing Merida from Brave. Hmm, I'm not seeing Tiana. That may be it. I would feel really bad if I was leaving somebody out. Let me know who else I may be missing. But, um, yeah, that's who I'm not seeing right now. I would kind of feel happy to replace Moana and Vanellope with any of those. Um, probably Cinderella and Anna, or Tiana most of all. Because I don't like Moana. I know she's an official Disney princess. I don't like the movie. It's the only Disney princess movie I don't like, actually. Um... I did love Rick at Ralph though, and I do love an LP, but I don't know. She did, it still feels out of place on this sheet. Like, if you're gonna have her, why wouldn't you have Merida? Anyway, this is another thing that I was talking about um, potential in her shop, because she does draw her main character, Lil, as, you know, as characters. So, um, so here she's drawing those princesses, but like, there's so many other fandoms out there that she could draw Lil as, or the other characters as, so. There's definitely more potential for sticker sheets there. So I eagerly await whatever fandoms come next. So this one is Zoo Trip, which is very cute. You just have generic welcome to the zoo. You have a seal, um, a little lion hat, and I think that's popcorn, a panda, and then a little sleeping on a rhino, which is so adorable. Very fun and definitely not your typical zoo sheet. Alright, so then this one is movie night, which is kind of like a singles movie night and then a couples, so it's good to have options there. And then there's a couple movie marquees at the bottom, it's kind of self-explanatory. And these two are the cat sheets. Again, I don't have a cat right now, but I've got to hoard all the cat sheets because I know the cats are going to be part of, a big part of my life in the future. So there's cat lover and cat owner. So this one is more just like... I don't know, cuddling with the cat like there and there, then also feeding the cat, playing with the cat, and then a lot of cat litter, and then cat food and balls of yarn, which is really cute. <laughs> I love how much space is dedicated to litter. Um, and this is cat owner, so there's more food that's bath time, which I'm sure the cat does not like. Um, grooming, this looks like vet appointment, and then more appointment labels down there so it's kind of my smaller order from some little things but I do love every bit of it I noticed that she also does a thing where when she outlines her stickers she doesn't use solid black she uses like looks like a kind of darker brownish outline and happy day does the same thing but she uses I think like red or some other colors so it kind of looks really faded overall and I worry about how it would stand out in a planner spread but you know, I'm not gonna just like say no, I'm not gonna buy them. Like I, I'm still gonna make them work, but like look at those, those are like normal outlines. Like that I think is, and the little stickers are like that too, I'm noticing. But like the oatmeal and cinnamon stickers, which I guess are the majority of the stickers here, their outlines are brown. So maybe that's just a character choice, I don't know. It's interesting though. Just a little fun factoid. So that is that and that wraps up this haul. So I did place a few more orders with different shops. Which shops those are will be a surprise, but there will be another haul coming up. Not necessarily soonish, but because I don't know when the orders are going to arrive yet, but they are in the works, especially because they're sale orders. So they're going to take a little bit longer, I think, but just stay tuned for that. And especially stay tuned for playing with me because I'm going to try really hard to get a ton up in order to catch up because I am still like three months behind. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this haul. As usual, um, there will be, I don't know why I'm saying this at the end, I guess so you know what to expect for future videos in case you don't read the description. I do list all of these shops below and their links and also timestamps in case you want to skip to a particular one or skip back. So that is how I've always, well not always, but that's how I've started doing it in hauls lately. And that's how I'm going to do it going forwards, just so you know that all that information is down there. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, share, that would be amazing. And I will see you in my next video. Ciao!